Yesterday, we learned the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, passed away, and we learned her death was due to advanced pancreatic cancer. So today, we wanted to sit down with our chief health editor, Dr. Nanny, to learn more about this disease and why everyone is saying the Queen of Soul really beat the odds, mm -hmm. doctor. Yeah, so Ellen, pancreatic cancer is one of the deadliest diseases that I treat in my practice. And I can tell you firsthand how devastating this cancer can be. And it's absolutely heartbreaking to tell my patients they have it and it's super distressing for them when they hear it. And that's because the mortality rate, meaning that the, the rate of people dying is so high at 95%. And now this cancer starts in the pancreatic tissue where cells can develop mutations and this makes them grow uncontrollably, which can then form into what's called a tumor. Now most people get a form of pancreatic cancer called pancreatic adenocarcinoma, but the type that Aretha Franklin had is pretty rare called pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor, and they're found in roughly 6% of pancreatic cancer cases. So, Doc, how is it diagnosed? What can we do to prevent it? So, Glenn, this is what I hear all the time. I received a lot of questions asking if there's a blood test for it with Aretha's uh, passing, and unfortunately, there really are none. If pancreatic cancer is suspected, you likely have imaging tests like MRI, CAT scans, ultrasounds, and you can get tissue samples done maybe from endoscopy or even biopsies of the CAT scan. Now the best way, however, to prevent cancer, pancreatic cancer, is by controlling or avoiding health risks. And those are by smoking, obesity, controlling obesity, controlling diabetes, and pancreatitis, which is a chronic inflammation of the pancreas. So Dr. Aretha Franklin, she was known for being very private, but there were reports that she may have had this since 2010. Mm -hmm. Would that length of time be something that people would consider unusual? Absolutely, Alan. You know, if Aretha had pancreatic cancer since 2010, this is very unusual. The five-year survival rate for this rare type that she had can, anywhere, can be anywhere from 50 to 80 percent. Compare that to the more common adenocarcinoma, which is less than 5 percent. And that's because neuroendocrine tumors are slow growing and can take years to spread. What we really need is a lot more research when it comes to pancreatic cancer. And it's really also so important, if you have a loved one that has this, not to have them give up hope and to find an expert that knows pancreatic cancer and give them the best chance of survival. Many people coming to see us at her memorial mm -hmm. said that their family members were victims of pancreatic cancer. It is a nasty disease. Dr. Absolutely. Nandy, we thank you so much. My pleasure. And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him, drnandy at wxyz.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.